Hello guys. Last video we looked at cost of equity. So we are still looking at cost of capital and remember we said asset can be financed either from liability or from equity and we can mix the two but the two types of capital will always be debt and what equity. So to know the cost of capital where we will get the funds from in order to finance our assets, we need to find the cost of debt and also the cost of equity. And we have looked at how to get the cost of equity. Either we use the dividend model or we use the CAPM model. We've looked at these two in my previous videos. Now I want to start with cost of debt. So we want to focus on debt, which is this alternative form of capital. So how do we calculate cost of debt? Okay, I'm going to summarize this for you very quickly. Yeah, once you know the table that I want to work on now, that's like the most important part of knowing what cost of debt is all about. Then I will solve some questions and uh, from there you build your capacity and you should be very comfortable with cost of debt calculation. So cost of debt depends on the type of debt we're looking at. Yeah, it's not like equity that is universal. For cost of debt, the type of debt will determine the formula you will use to calculate the cost of debt. And that is what I've tried to summarize for you. And I'll put it on a table like this. So basically, there are about five types that we'll look at. Yeah, and um, so we have the type of debt here. And we have the cost of debt here. Which will be the formula where, that you have to use. The first one to take note of is what we call the bank loan, which is very popular. Bank loan and probably the easiest as well. The bank loan is just calculated as interest multiplied by one minus t. Remember, t is tax, right? So this is your cost of debt. Anytime you have a bank loan, if you are asked to calculate cost of bank loan, it's interest rate into bracket one minus tax rate. And that will give you a cost of debt for bank loan. If you have another type, which is called preference. Share. Remember I said earlier, preference share has both the characteristic of equity and debt. Yeah, but if you are asked to calculate cost of preference share, please don't use the dividend formula or formula treat it as if it's a debt and you just use simple formula which is cost of debt for this is the cost of the dividend on the preference share divided by the exdiv uh, ex price of that preference share also very easy remember preference share does not have any tax benefit so the formula doesn't have any one minus t please take note of that the third one is irredeemable debt Irredeemable debt. If you have irredeemable debt, it's just similar to what you have as bank loan, but the only difference is that you have to divide by the x diff price. So you have the interest into one minus t, then everything will have to be divided by the x diff price of that debt. And that's for irredeemable debt. The fourth one is redeemable debt. So you can also have a redeemable debt. And if you have a redeemable debt, it's a bit complicated. And all you need to do, the cost of debt is equal to the IRR of that instrument. And this is exactly the reason why I decided to explain IRR in my previous video, because you need to understand that concept before we get to this point. And I'm happy I have done justice to that. Please, if you have not seen that video, it's the video before this one. So please go and read that video and you should be comfortable with IRR. And for convertible debt, which is the fifth type, convertible debt is also IRR. However, after the test of conversion. And why is test of conversion very important? Remember, convertible debt is an instrument that has an option to convert into equity. However, 
at that point at the date of exercise yeah the investor has the option to convert or not to convert so for you to be able to determine what all your cash flows will be to determine IRR, you need to be sure what decision the investor will take would the investor decide to convert to equity in that case the conversion value which will be share price multiplied by the number of shares the guy will get for each bond or each debt will be the cash flow at the end of the debt however if he decides not to convert which means he wants to redeem with principal then his principal will be the redemption value and that will be given in the question what redemption value will be sometimes it might be at par which is 100 it might be at premium which is more than 100 or it might be at a discount but whatever the question asks you to do that will form the last part of the cash flow so we're going to solve some questions yeah where we put all these things into uh, practice and likewise remember you can also revise the past uh, recording and you should be able to be very comfortable yeah, with it. so you will never have any type of debt outside of these five that I've given you and exams will not test more than that so it's very important that you are very comfortable with these five types remember for each type you address it with the formula that is relevant for that type and sometimes you will have to merge some of these formulas especially when we get to work but we'll take it step by step but for now this is about cost of debt and these are the five types of debt you can have and the five various ways you will have to use to calculate each of them very important please take note and um, let's just practice few that we can now so let's look at bank loan and i'll just give a typical example for example is a bank loan of say 10 percent 50 million dollars and corporate tax is 20 percent for this cost of debt for this bank loan remember is the, the formula we have to use is this one here yeah, so we need to bring it down into one minus t and in that case in, i is interest rate which is 10 percent and put that here one minus tax rate which is 20 percent and remember one is same thing as 100 percent so which equals to 10 percent into bracket 80 percent and that gives you eight percent that is cost of debt of that bank loan it's as simple as that yeah likewise you can have a preference share let's look for one example for preference share here you have nine percent preference shares Nine percent preference share at nominal value of one dollar trading at one point four dollar active. What is the cost of the preference share? This is another question you can think about this is also pretty easy it's similar to the formula that we're gonna use which is the second formula right and what's the formula cost of preference share is equals to dividend divided by x diff price and here dividend is always on preference share is always the percentage multiplied by the nominal value and here the nominal value has been given as one dollar so the dividend amount is nine percent of one dollar then the price was given to be 1.4 as well divided by 1.4 and that will be equals to 0 0.064 which is equivalent as 6.4 percent that is the cost of debt for preference share the third one 
which is irredeemable debt, so another simple one. Irredeemable bond. Irredeemable bond is very similar to preference share. The only difference is just that there's a tax benefit on bonds, unlike preference share. But let's say you have, let's work this example, 10% irredeemable bond. Yeah, quoted, it is quoted at um, 120 X interest and tax taxation at 30 percent for this one kd remains interest into one minus t divided by price so which equals to 10 percent into brackets one minus t and our tax rate is 30 percent but it's good to calculate the interest first so you know the exact interest you are dealing with so let's let me break it down so how much is interest interest is 10 percent of the nominal value a nominal value of any bond note is always 100 please take note power value nominal value and write it down It's the same thing as power value and also the same thing as face value they are all the same thing and this is always one hundred dollars please take note so it's ten percent times face value which means it's ten percent times one hundred and that is equals to ten so interest is ten right so if i put that ten here into one minus thirty percent then divided by 120 which is x interest price that gives us the cost of debt of 5.83 percent so that is the cost of debt right for that and um for the other two which is redeemable and convertible that requires calculation of IRR, and i've covered that in my previous video but i'm going to do another video after this one where i'm going to solve question on IRR for redeemable debt and convertible debt. So please watch the next video and I will continue.